Yeah, can you hear me? Okay. Okay, next write down. Characteristics of one second, characteristics of of the compounds of group two elements. compounds of group two elements. The first compound that we have is oxide formation. That is oxides. Okay. See, we have different, different types of oxides. They forms normal oxides, that is monooxide, MO type. It also forms peroxides of MO2 type. Right. So write down all elements forms oxides of MO type. Elements forms oxides of MO type. This is monooxide basically. Okay. Right on these elements also forms peroxides of peroxides of MO2 type. So monooxide and peroxides of MO2 type it forms. Okay. Right. Beryllium does not form peroxide. BE does not form peroxide. All these oxides peroxide forms because of the stabilizing effect of the cation. Okay. The positive field that we have on the, the positive ion that we have basically, right? If you talk about the positive charge on the element which is present on the top, like B plus two, Mg plus two and all. So because of high charge density over there, these oxides are quite stable. This B plus two and Mg plus two stabilize the oxide ion O minus two. And hence the oxides are stable over there. Correct. These oxides are also strong, like I said, stable, but it is strong enough. It is not strong enough to prevent the formation of OO bond, which is there in peroxide to prevent the formation of peroxide, but superoxide it does not form means whether the molecule will form 
oxide or peroxide or superoxide it depends upon the stability of the cation right so cation is strong enough to stabilize the monoxide and peroxide but it cannot stabilize superoxide and hence superoxide does not form okay write down as we go down the group for peroxide you write down as we go down the group as we go down the group the stability down the group the stability of peroxide increases peroxide increases so since be does not form peroxide so i am not writing it down here mgo2 is least stable then we have cao2 sro2 and bao2 the stability order we have this okay the metal is directly allowed to react with oxygen kya yeah, we'll try to finish all important things whatever few things is left i will ask you to you know go through on your own okay depends like what all things we can cover i think we can cover most of the things today we have one hour so we can cover those quickly write down and then i am planning to start thermodynamics next class okay thermodynamics or equilibrium we'll see that okay you see how do we prepare the uh, you know the oxides oxides are prepared by the direct reaction of metal and oxygen okay converts into mo where this m is m is beryllium this is important here m is we can have beryllium we can have magnesium we can have calcium strontium and barium right sorry barium is not possible i guess ha huh? barium is not possible barium we cannot prepare barium oxide we cannot prepared by this method till strontium okay when barium reacts with oxygen directly it converts into peroxide you see this barium plus o2 it converts into ba2 o2 down the group we go tendency to form peroxides increases so barium barium gives you peroxide not monoxide so we cannot form bao by this method you keep that in mind we can also obtain monoxide by the decomposition of carbonate mco3 heat this mo plus co2 okay ms o4 sulfate sulfate you heat this it is mo plus so3 right few characteristics to write down all monoxides except beo you know the reason behind this are ionic beo is covalent in nature fresnel's rule these oxides are highly stable these oxides are highly stable beo is amphoteric this is amphoteric
reaction which shows its amphoteric behavior is see this beo reacts with 2hcl converts into becl2 plus h2o reaction with acid with base you see 2naoh it forms na2beo2 which is sodium berylate okay other oxides are basic in nature reacts with water you see mo plus h2o and we know it forms hydroxide the reaction is exothermic basic character of these hydroxide of these hydroxides increases down the group increases down the group size increases so bond length increases bond strength decreases and tendency to release more oh minus ion in the solution that is a basic character okay next slide down sulfur reaction means which reaction acha this one sulfate okay okay so if you see this ah uh, next point you write down the oxides have oxides have high lattice energy lattice energy and hence and hence is stable lattice energy and hence they are stable as we go down the group size increases as we go down the group size increases hence lattice energy decreases correct so these are few properties we have that you must uh, remember for oxides and hydroxides hydroxides will see for oxides basically okay next the second type of compound it forms we call it as hydroxides
hydroxides. In general, we say when monooxides react with water, it converts into MOH hold twice and heat releases. Correct? Heat releases. But this is not for the BeOH2 or MgOH2. Beryllium and magnesium is not possible here. Means this M is only equals to calcium, strontium, and barium. So how do we obtain BeOH whole twice and MgOH whole twice? Beryllium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide. Beryllium and magnesium hydroxides are prepared by dissolving their sulfate in water. So it forms BeOH whole twice plus we get Na2SO4. Similarly, MgSO4 plus H2O MgOH whole twice with with once again this reaction okay so we have NaOH also here yeah. Solution of NaOH we use. Okay, NaOH with water, this solution we have. And hence we also get here Na2SO4. So B, beryllium sulfate and magnesium sulfate is dissolved in the aqueous solution of NaOH, which gives you this reaction. Okay. Now, few properties you see. Like the first one, BeOH whole twice is amphoteric. is amphoteric in nature, reacts with both acid and base. Okay. As we go down the group, down the group, this point already I've given you, down the group, the basic strength, the basic strength increases since the size increases. More tendency to lose OH minus ion. Okay. Second point, you see. Thermal stability of hydrides. Thermal stability, thermal stability Uh, one second, we are talking about thermal stability, it means reactivity towards stability towards heat, right? Okay, so hydroxides we have correct. So thermal stability, write down thermal stability as we go down the group. Wait, thermal stability increases. as we go 
down the group. When you have, suppose Mg O H hold twice, and you heat this, it converts into oxides and H2. Okay. <clears throat> Next we'll see the solubility. Write down. As we go down the group, the solubility increases. As we go down the group, the solubility increases. See solubility right now solubility depends upon solubility depends upon the lattice enthalpy lattice enthalpy and hydration enthalpy the lattice enthalpy and hydration enthalpy both Lattice enthalpy and hydration enthalpy, right on this point. Both lattice and hydration enthalpy hydration enthalpy decreases down the group, decreases down the group. If you talk about the relative decrease, the decrease in lattice enthalpy is more rapid than that of hydration enthalpy. Next slide, write down. The decrease, or I'll write down this way, the lattice enthalpy, the lattice enthalpy decreases decreases more rapidly, more rapidly than hydration enthalpy, and when lattice energy decreases, so obviously solubility increases. So decrease in lattice enthalpy is more; it decreases a lot in comparison to hydration enthalpy, and hence the solubility increases. Done.
Next, you see halides. Write down. Elements of group two forms halides of M X two type. M X two type halides of beryllium B E X two are covalent. Again, the same reason. Only halides of beryllium is covalent. All other elements halides are ionic in nature. Okay. If we talk about the ionic character of these halides, ionic character BEX2 is the least ionic. In fact, it is covalent. And we know as we go down the group, the ionic character increases. Covalent character decreases. So ionic order is this. Okay. One more point to write down. The compound which is more covalent can be easily hydrolyzed, okay? So we can write down like this, hydrolysis is easier of covalent compound. For example, if you need to write down the order of hydrolysis of BeCl2, MgCl2, CaCl2, BACL2, SR I forgot. So we have SRCL2 and BACL2. Hydrolysis is this. Because it is the most covalent, covalent compound can be easily hydrolyzed. Okay. Write down. Write down BEF2. BEF2 has random structure. But other halides of beryllium, but other halides of beryllium. other halides of beryllium are crystalline. Crystalline means they have a different pattern, fixed structure, are crystalline. Like you see BeCl2, I'll write down, this is important. BeCl2 has different structures in different state. Like you see, BeCl2 in vapor state. in vapor state. In vapor state, write down, it exists as monomer, 
vapor state exists as monomer monomer with zero dipole moment with zero dipole moment but this is possible when temperature is greater than 1200 kelvin so when temperature is greater than 1200 kelvin so at this temperature its structure is pretty simple be and cl this is the structure of single bond okay but when the temperature is less than 200 kelvin 1200 kelvin then it exist in dimer form right exist in dimer form if you look at the structure the structure is this we have cl here beryllium cl and cl and this chlorine is in the same plane like this so it exists as dimer this one is monomer because we have only one molecule this is in vapor state vapor state on different different temperature more than 1200 kelvin monomer less than 1200 kelvin dimer okay next if you look at this structure of becl2 in solid state in solid state in solid state it exist in polymeric form or it has polymeric structure polymeric structure for example you see beryllium chlorine beryllium chlorine and chlorine and again this is uh, you know it is coming out of the plane beryllium coming out of the plane out of the plane like this and then again in the same plane and then this side we have again out of the plane this side also we have okay so this is the three different structures exist in two different state at different different temperature okay so this is structure you must remember it is important then copy it
पेस्ट ओके नेक्स्ट राइट डाउन कार्बोनेट्स एंड बाई कार्बोनेट्स कार्बोनेट्स एंड बाई कार्बोनेट्स ओके, राइट डाउन सी कार्बोनेट्स वी कैन प्रिपेयर इन टू डिफरेंट वे आई राइट डाउन द रिएक्शन हियर डायरेक्टली द रिएक्शन इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन टेक हाइड्रोक्साइड एम ओ एच होल्ड वाइस एक्वस एंड यू डिजॉल्व दिस इन सीओ टू दिस कन्वर्ट्स इन टू एम टू सीओ थ्री एक्वस एंड एच टू अकाउंट ओके वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज सोडियम और मैग्नीशियम कार्बोनेट लाइक यू टेक एम जी सी एल टू सपोज मैग्नीशियम अ कार्बोनेट यू नीड टू फॉर्म यू टेक एम जी सी एल टू एक्वस aqueous and dissolve this into sodium carbonate that is Na2CO3 aqueous then from this what happens Mg2 MgCO3 forms MgCO3 forms and we get NaCl here this two won't be there this two will not be there because mco3 type carbonates will get no so these two methods we can prepare carbonates right on thermal stability as we go down the group thermal stability increases thermal stability increases okay the reason for this is there is a fact called large cation large cation can stabilize can stabilize large ni okay so as you go down the group the size of cation increases metal ion increases and hence the stability of carbonate ion is more okay carbonate ion is a big ion right sulfate ion carbonate and these are the big ions we have so for all these ions if you think of the bond length then you'll get the reverse order because down the group if you go bond length increases thermal stability should decrease but that is not happening here right here it is happening because of the stability of anion so stability of anion is more because of the large size of cation and hence down the group the stability of carbonate increases thermal stability okay important for this one
So if I write down the order here, BE CO3 is least stable. Then we have MgCO3, CaCO3, SrCO3, and BaCO3. Done. Solubility in water of this carbonates, you see. As you know, thermal stability increases down the growth and hence the solubility decreases. So as you go down the group, thermal stability increases, solubility decreases down the group. as thermal stability increases. Thermal stability increases. Okay. Bicarbonates, you see, it is prepared by first of all the reaction of hydroxide with carbon dioxide which gives carbonate MCO3. H2O comes out. And then when this carbonate is dissolved in aqueous solution of CO2 saturated, then this converts into MHCO3 bicarbonate, hold twice. Right on, all bicarbonates are stable in solution. All bicarbonates are stable in solution. Next, you see nitrates. There are three different way by which we can prepare nitrates. One is you take monoxide and dissolve into HNO3. So it converts into MNO3 twice plus water. That is nitrates. If you take hydroxide, Again, in HNO3, it forms MNO3 whole twice. Achai, made a mistake. This is only H2BF. Hydrogen gas 
evolves here. Plus, we'll get water, 2H2, with hydroxide. If you take carbonate, MCO3, again, you dissolve this into HNO3. We'll get M NO3 plus CO2 plus H2O. This is the three way we have by which we can prepare nitrates. Yes, you see, as size increases, hydration enthalpy, hydration enthalpy decreases, and hydration enthalpy decreases means hydration decreases. hydration decreases. You know, size increases down the group. So we can say hydration decreases as you go down the group. All nitrate MnO3 twice, when you heat this, it dissociates into oxides, monoxides, NO2, and O2 comes out. So nitrogen dioxide evolves. This information is important. Nitrogen dioxide evolves. Then Okay, last, we have three more to discuss in this. Sulfates, nitrides, and carbides, these three. Not a big one, small, small things are there. We'll finish by time. So next is we have sulfates. Four different way by which we can prepare sulfate. Metal, you dissolve into H2SO4. Converts into MSO4 plus H2. Oxide, monoxide you take. Again, you dissolve into H2SO4. So it forms, obviously, MSO4 will get sulfate with oxide we have water evolves if you take hydroxide moh whole twice dissolve into acid again h2so4 converts into mso4 plus 2h2o carbonate plus h2so4 converts into MSO4 plus CO2 plus H2.
For this also, we have the same thing. Thermal stability increases down the group. So if you talk about BeSO4, MgSO4, CaSO4, SrSO4, thermal stability decreases down the group. Same reason we have. Thermal stability decreases down the group, correct? Thermal stability decreases, increases, so obviously solubility in water decreases. Exactly the same logic, solubility decreases because more stable, less soluble. Solubility decreases. Done, copied. Okay. Next you see, nitrides. See, all metals, when heated with nitrogen, forms nitrides of M3, N2 type. All nitrides, property you see, all nitrides are colorless crystalline compound except except which one could you tell me except the first one, right? That is what, you know, the abnormal behavior we have, except BE3 and 2. Okay. These nitrides when dissolved in water, M3, N2, dissolved in water, it evolves ammonia and along with ammonia will get hydroxide. We'll get NH3, evolves ammonia gas. Reaction with carbon monoxide is a bit different for the different elements. You see here, M3N2, when it reacts with carbon monoxide, it forms monoxide and N2 releases. Nitrogen gas comes out into this. Where this M here is, we can have magnesium, 
we can have calcium we can have strontium okay barium reacts in a different manner ba3 and 2 reacts with co it forms barium oxide and ba cn2 this is the reaction we have copy it okay the last one is carbide two different types of carbide these elements forms in fact three write down alkaline earth metal earth metals forms three different types of carbide it can form m2 c type it can form m c2 type and it can form m2c3 type carbide m2c type carbides forms only by beryllium only by be so only we have be 2c exist in this case okay this is formed by all the elements we can have different conditions for preparation but all elements can form this kind of hydrides this also formed by all elements but mainly magnesium reaction we'll see here mainly magnesium so if you see the first type here that is m2c type you know m is beryllium over here so first is so beryllium directly reacts with carbon around uh, 1900 to 2000 degree celsius and it converts into be2c okay we can also take the oxide of beryllium suppose 2 beo with 2 c converts into be 2 c plus 2 co this reaction is also very high temperature uh around 2000 degree celsius we have this reaction okay so once they have asked this question in je which gas evolve when the carbide i am not sure with with you know what metal was there but this was the you know the idea of the question was this be2c suppose we have this carbide when this carbide dissolve in water then which gas evolve here right so obviously you should know the reaction the reaction is we have beoh hold twice and ch4 so methane gas is the answer how do you memorize this we have be2c 
So BE2C actually dissociates as 2BE2+. Since it is the metal of second group, so it will always have plus two charge on it. And BE2 we have, it means 2BE plus two will have. 2BE plus two will have total four positive charge. It means carbon should also have four negative charge, C4 minus. And since carbon has four negative charge, this is only possible when it forms CH4, right? Since four negative charge, it requires four hydrogen and hence CH4 will get. So this is how we can memorize this reaction. Okay. Second type you see MC2 type carbide. Like I said, it is prepared by all alkali metals. Beryllium, you see, beryllium is allowed to react with acetylene, forms BeCe2 and hydrogen gas releases. If you take calcium, calcium directly reacts with carbon at high temperature, 1100 degrees Celsius, forms CaC2, condition is different again. It can also be obtained by oxide of calcium you take. You take carbon and you heat it around 2000 degrees Celsius. CaC2 plus CO. So we have three CO here. Now on this, the question that they ask here, this type here, you see, similar kind of questions that suppose if you dissolve calcium carbide CaC2 in H2, then which gas evolves over here? You see here, Ca again, it converts into Ca2 plus C2, two minus will have you. Two carbon with two negative charge. It means the possible reaction is product is here. We obviously get CaOH whole twice, calcium will plus two, and this would be C2H2, that is acetylene evolves in this reaction. The last type you see, M2C3 type carbides, mainly formed by magnesium. The reaction is 3Mg plus acetylene converts into Mg2C3 plus H2. Two mg, three, mm, sorry, three C two, so it will be six. So we have two here, and this is four, six hydrogen, so three H two. This is the balanced reaction here. Mg two C three. Again, you see when it dissociates, it gives what? Two mg, two plus. And this side we get C3, four minus. So when this dissolve in water, Mg2C3 dissolve in H2O, it gives hydroxide and we get CH3, C triple bond CH propyne.
So all these carbides hydrolysis reaction is important. You must do this. Done, copied. Yeah, finished. Okay, so we are done with this. Okay, almost done. Only few things is left. Like I'm going to you know, tell you what all things you have to study in NCRT or any other book you have, but NCRT you have to read it, read completely from beginning to end properly, okay? So only few compounds, you know, small, small reactions are there which is left. What you need to do at home is uh, you finished magnesium hydroxide, not much important. Magnesium sulfate, MgSO4.7H2. Okay, some properties and uh, you know reactions. We also call it as Epsom salt. Quick lime you finish, CaO. Calcium hydroxide. You'll get only four or five reactions, not much. And the last one in this, you must do a little bit of about uh, cement and plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris. This five, six points, it's very small, small topic it is. There is no you know, logic, at least some carbonate stability, sulfate stability and all. There are some logic orders we have of stability and all. Here we have just reaction and all that you can memorize. Okay, so these things you finish NCRT or if you have any other book, yes. If everything is given in NCRT, go through it. Otherwise, I think few things will not be there probably. If it is not there, then you can refer any other book. But NCRT, the entire chapter you have to do from beginning to end. Okay, so this is it for this chapter. Next class, we'll start with either equilibrium or thermo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Arabi, I'll see that. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.